It's me, NazG, and I am back. Welcome back to another awesome episode of NazG Gameplays. Today I'm doing another vlog video, but it's an extra special one because it's actually going to be an unboxing video. As a matter of fact, I remember doing one of these maybe oh, about 18 months ago. I unboxed a little Razer Razu controller, which is a really cool unboxing. I thought it was a great video because I'm so funny. Congratulations, there is no turning back. Winning is all about you, Lozen Tools, and available to you. Uh, did you want us at Razer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, ooh, probably the most important thing that this 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 um, instruction manual will tell you is um, that the controller is actually used to play games. So, you know, basically what I want to do is I want to do a, another unboxing video of these great goodies that I managed to get organized myself, really. So, before I get started, I just want to give a really big shout out to Logitech. So, Logitech provided me a lot of great equipment that I can now start using for my daily gameplay and go towards, you know, trying to build my channel. This very small little weak channel that I've got that's getting nothing anyway. But yeah, I'm sure one day it'll, it'll get some traction and, and I, I might get, you know, maybe 150 subscribers one day if I really, really wish really hard or something. I don't know. But look, um, I've got all these great goodies in a box and I want to unbox them all right here right now in front of you because I know it's going to be a lot of fun and we're going to try and make a really fun episode so uh, a little bit of a backstory I work for a company that sells a lot of electronic products including you know laptops mobile phones uh, gaming equipment I, I, I manage around the gaming areas um, and we sell quite a bit of Logitech stuff and in, in fact what they do for incentive for staff to sell Logitech equipment over the top of parallel equipment they uh, allow you to sign up on their Logitech rewards website and uh, with your um, basically with your employee ID number you then can uh, you know accumulate the points of, of Logitech's you know sales basically of selling Logitech products and you accumulate enough points and you can actually buy products from the website using these points so essentially the stuff that I got today was for free uh, because all I had to do was sell Logitech stuff I accumulate these points and I just buy and spend these points and I get the stuff sent to me so it's taken about four and a half weeks but um, that actually happened a lot quicker than I thought I thought it was about six to eight but I managed to get it a bit quicker time I know other people that have ordered this stuff ages ago and they haven't got theirs yet but uh, which is quite hilarious but um, look without further ado guys I really want to get into it but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring up on the screen right now a list of the stuff that I ordered and what I plan to do is I plan to unbox it from you know least expensive or least exciting right up to the most exciting as you can see I got myself so I got a couple of pairs of headphones I got myself a new keyboard a new mouse um, and of course a new camera so I'm really excited but you know what let's get into it I was at work and I got the message from my girlfriend to say that uh, a big package has arrived for you. And I'm like, oh, what is it? Because I didn't expect it to come. I, there was literally like nothing else I was expecting. And I was like, it's got to be Logitech. She's like sending me messages back and forth. I don't know what it is. I'm like, what is it? And she's opened it. She sent pictures and she's got a bad camera. And I was like, ah. So I don't know. And it's like, ah. So I only just got home just like half an hour ago and I'm, I'm here. So I haven't even looked inside the box yet. So I'm hoping everything is there. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, it looks like not everything's come. Uh, that's a shame because there was something in there I was really hoping to come as well but it looks like I'm missing a set of headphones which you know it doesn't really matter um, so I'd say they won't be too far away I'm sure they'll be another week away but that's not a big deal it's got nothing to do with gaming it's just some sport headphones that I wanted to wear at the gym but you know what scratch that uh, who cares no one really cares about them but uh, the, the Jaybird Bluetooth headphones but whatever who, who cares so what I might start off with as you saw on the list is the C922 Pro HT webcam. I remember ages ago when I really wanted to start streaming, uh, which I can't stream by the way because my internet's too pathetic. Um, I wanted one of these webcams for like recording and stuff like that. Over time, I've increased cameras. I started off with a webcam uh, to record, and then I got you know the Sony I'm recording on now, um, and now I've got one of these. So eventually, when I do start streaming and other recording, and that I've got this bad boy. So. I know 1080p at 30 um, these days isn't really that optimal. 720p is si at 60 is a bit more optimal for, um, uh, sorry, more for streaming. But um, I'm happy with that. This one does 720p at 30. This one here that does 720p at 30 is so a 720p at 60. So yeah, I'm going to uh, open it up and uh, have a look inside. So for those that don't never owned one before, uh, pretty exciting. What does it come with? So all oh, right. So, yeah, so that's pretty straightforward. Yep, nice USB. So, yep, a nice little place where I can chuck it on my monitor. Um, you know, a nice crispy clean. It's all in this little plastic packaging. I can't wait to peel all that sort of stuff off. Uh, who knows? I might set this up in a minute and I might just quickly, you know, check it out and record with it and blah, 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 and all that sort of stuff. And 
give it a really good go. What's in the rest of the box? So there's that. Ooh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, comes with its own super duper handy little tripod. I'm sure I'm gonna find that extremely handy. You know, it's a tiny little tripod thing. It's just, uh, yeah, I'm get, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely find some use for this. Absolutely. Okay, what are we gonna do next? Well, I decided the last thing I wanna open is my new headphones, because I'm very excited to show you those. I've been mean, looking forward to those the most. Um, but there's one other thing I've been looking forward to, of course, I got myself a new keyboard and new mouse, as you probably saw on that list. Out of those, I'm not sure what I think I should open first, but uh, you know what, I'm thinking the keyboard. I think I'm gonna open the keyboard. So, I managed to get myself a new, Logitech 512 Carbon. So, as you can see, it's uh, one of the mechanical keyboards. They are a little bit quieter than your average mechanical keyboard, but I'm not expecting them to be super quiet. Um, I'm actually quite worried, I'm actually quite scared about how loud it might be. So, um, because I know the keyboard, I've got this cheap membrane keyboard, which I'll show you in a minute. I've got this cheap membrane keyboard, um, which I know isn't exactly, uh, you know, which isn't loud, but you know, it's not soft. Um, but I know it's, it's, a, it's a piece of crap and I know that some people can still hear it over gameplay and all that sort of stuff so um, a bit worried how much more noise this will make but you know what let's let's crack it open and let's have a look and have a bit of a feel Ooh, okay that looks nice it's like it's it's the carbon carbon fiber finish wherever it's called um, so there's a couple of colors to choose from this is one of them I think it was the only one I had left but um, I decided to go with the carbon one anyway even though the other one wasn't available but I don't know if you can really see it the camera the camera's not doing it just but it's like a lot nice nice carbon finish um, so that looks nice and crispy clean. What is that? I don't know, maybe you can tell me in the comments. I'll, I'll show you this in a second. Um, ooh, Logitech sticker. That's gonna go straight here, right underneath my monster one. Yeah. Keep playing Fortnite. I don't think so. So, okay, so you're probably wondering why the hell I'm confused. Because I totally didn't expect this to happen. Even though it's my job to sell these things, I'm supposed to know about them, but you don't really know unless you really start using them. So it's come a nice little clear plastic. Um, so I'm going to open up this plastic. God, it's, God, it smells good. You know that, that new packet smell? You know that new packet smell? Mm. Here's where I'm confused. Can someone out there please tell me, without researching Google, why this has got two USBs? See, I'm used to using cables that only got one. So, what is with the point of having two USBs? I mean, are they supposed to be plugged in? Because it's not like I have an awesome amount of USB space. So, I have to, I have to sacrifice something. I suppose I could probably have my external hard drive unplugged and just plug it in when I need to and just plug it in the front or something when I need to. Well, anyway, I can't wait to crank that. I'm going to crank that in a minute. Um, and then in a, in a second, I'm going to... Well, oh, actually, we might as well do the little tests. Um, this is where I'm really nervous. I might as well do the little tests. What should we start off with? Should we start off pressing um, the arrow keys? Because, you know, yeah. Yeah, um, it's not too bad. It's not too bad at all. You, you'll see how, why I'm really excited to finally get a new keyboard. You'll see it in a minute. Uh, all right, next. Probably what, something I'm more excited about, most excited about, apart from the headphones. So it's something I'm most excited about, but not as excited about the other thing that's I'm most excited about, that's I'm most excited about, which is not this, but it's the other thing that I'm excited about, this one. The G502 Lightspeed Wireless Mouse, which I've been really looking forward to using because if you had any idea how terrible my keyboard and mouse is that I have right now, um, you'd be excited for me. So as you can see, it's the Lightspeed uh, 502. Um, it's a very nice DPI smooth mouse. The fact that it comes with its own weight system as well, so you can adjust your own weights. Can you still see me? Yes. You can actually uh, adjust it, the, you know, the back of it be heavier than the front, 
the right side to be heavier than the left, so you know you can fortify your whipping a bit more for your muscle memory. I'm looking forward to playing around with the weights. It's going to be frustrating, but I'm looking forward to uh, playing around with the weights. Even though I'm not really much of a first-person shooter, I'm more of a Rocket League player, but um, the concept is there, and I can't wait to use it. But who knows? Let's wait and see. But shall we open it? Oh no, I'll do a fancy thing. I'll do it. Yes, I'll do that. Yeah, that looks awesome. That looks great. Um, so, yeah, so I've what I've washed my hands. Yeah, they're clean. Mm. There is some movement in my pants as I hold this mouse. Mm hmm. This mouse is actually a bit lighter than what I thought it would have been. Look at this plastic. Where is all this plastic coming from? What about the environment, Logitech? Thanks, Logitech. What about the environment? That feels that feels really comfortable in my hands. What I want to do is I want to figure out how to... So that's a mouse there. As you can see, it's a nice place to hold all the extra buttons on the side, including the top. Nice little design, nice little pointed design. It actually feels quite nice and light. But what I want to do is I need to figure out how to open the base without breaking anything. So I'm, I'm just pressing the bottom like that and it's like almost flipping open. Is that what you're supposed to do? Holy shit! Um... Right, now what? Is the rest of, please tell me the rest of the stuff is in here. Because I haven't opened up the rest of the box yet. I'm hoping the rest of it's in here. Because I thought there was... I think there's stuff missing. It looks like it might be. Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Oh! Another Logitech sticker. What? Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. So, apart from. Okay. So that's the base that's just come off. Apart from. I don't know. So some sort of charging cord, maybe. I don't know. You can use that for like your, your PS4. But apart from this, this has come with it. And I'm assuming the weights. And I'm hoping the fucking dongles in there because I can't see the dongle. Sometimes the dongle's inside the mouse. So that, you know, the Bluetooth receiver dongle? Sometimes it's inside the mouse. Because there's the space for it to put your dongle. It's even got the dongle symbol in there, as you can see. Um, but it's not there. So I'm hoping... Keep your fingers crossed for me, fellas. Okay. So it is a rechargeable battery, and that cord is a recharged battery. Okay. Fingers crossed, fellas. That this is inside. I don't want to look. Oh, my God, please be in there. Is it in there? Is it? Is it in there? I don't want to look. Is that it? Is it? That's the weights? Yes, that's it. That is it. Uh, huh? Wait, what? Hang on. What? All right, all right, all right, all right. Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. So, we've got the G502 dongle. I want to know where the battery is. Okay, ah, so the battery's already in there, right? Obviously, because it's a terrible battery. <laughs> okay, so the dongle is obviously going to plug into my PC. That needs to be kept safe somewhere, which I can do, no problem. Where the hell do the weights go? Oh. Right, okay. So I've just opened that, and the weights go in there. Four gram, two gram, and two gram, eh? It's like a little, it's like a little jigsaw puzzle. Like that. No, that can't be it. I'm being an idiot right now. Where's the back of the box say? Okay, right, right, right. I think I got it. I think I got it. Aha! So, I've got it. So, these four gram weights, these bigger ones, because you've got the big ones and the small ones, right? So, the four gram ones go stored in the back of the little flippy thing. I'm going, to, I'm going to chuck all the weights in because I like the idea of putting all the weights in and then working my way back. All right, so, uh -huh, so the four gram weights sit in the back of that and that will get screwed back in. Jesus, it's a fucking magnet. Oh, that already feels a lot heavier. Whoa, that just feels amazingly heavy already. A little jigsaw puzzle because you've got to like put them in the right way and all that sort of stuff. There we go. All in there. Perfect. So the dongle is out, ready to be plugged in. I'm assuming it's fully charged. It's, oh, Jesus. It's a magnet. It's like 
Holy shit, it's like hell magnetized. I suppose it's helps to stop it from, you know, falling off. Cause that's that's literally just look at that. Just open it like that. That's a, that's legit like a magnet. That is sick as fuck. Oh. What I might do, charge while I'm unboxing the headphones. All right, so I'm going to plug this in the base. You can't, you might not be able to see that, but there's actually a micro USB slot in there, port in there at the tip, and that's where you charge the battery. Apparently. Well, there we go. Look at that. Yeah, right there. The green light's flashing. Yeah, look at that. That's it's charging. Stay there. Stay put. Right. Because I've got to show you. I've got to show you something. So, there goes that. Let me show you. Look, this is my old keyboard and mouse. Look how terrible it is. Alright. Look at that. Look at this piece of shit. I've had it for about two years. I got it because I thought it was big and colourful and had this funny knob on it and all that sort of stuff. I mean, look at this piece of crap mouse. I got it as a keyboard and mouse package. The whole thing like cost me like ninety bucks or where it was, Australian. But uh, you know, look, look, look at the look at the W, look at the A, look at the S, look at the D, look at the F. I, I get confused. Well, it's, I, sometimes I type like I'm dyslexic. I say sorry instead of sorry or something, you know, because the S and D I get them backwards. So yeah, all dusty in this mouse. It's seeing better days. So I'm, I'm looking forward to getting rid of this mouse and that, and basically, you know, like uh, yeah, basically just getting. You know a much better keyboard and mouse in so i'm sure now that you've seen that you're very excited for me so finally the piece of resistance however you pronounce it i don't know i'm not french so and it's finally my headphones very excited to announce that i finally got myself a nice awesome pet pet nice awesome pair of g935s that's right g9 35s like the best of the best not quite the best of the best there are definitely better headphones out there not but not many but a couple but when it comes to reviews compared to value for money um, these have actually come out like 9 out of 10 across the board so these are a great set of headphones apparently the audio quality is great the receptional quality is, so, is, is great for the bluetooth this microphone is awesome i can't wait to open up and have a look ready let's do it i don't want to tear Oh, look, another sticker. Ooh. Oh, hello, hello. Ooh. Very important, please read the guide first. Ah, so it does come with its own AUX just in case. USB for charging. Um. I'm assuming the same concept as the mouse. Here they are. They are uh, they're definitely a bit bigger than what I thought. They feel a little more fragile than what I what they what I thought. But then again, they could be just me. So of course, I've never owned a set of Bluetooth headsets before. Now I believe most of these Bluetooth headset headphones. I believe most. Uh -huh. I believe most of Bluetooth wireless headsets come with the dongle already in, built in. Fucking hell. Look at the size of them. Jesus Christ, they weigh a bit. Compared to my Razor Krakens, these like, these are not these weight, well, I suppose they've got a bit of weight to them, but they feel a bit more stable and but these feel a lot more fragile, but I'm sure that's just me. Um, this will have to be left and right. Okay, don't know if you can see that yet. Yeah. So the micro USB and the AUX. You've got some quick buttons. So it looks like you've got your on off button, of course. I mean, again, if anyone in the comments owns a set of these and you've owned them for a while and you love them, tell me all about it. Um, so you've got the on button. Um, you've got a G3, a G2 and a G1. Looks like one's the control the RGB, one's control possibly like some sort of Bluetooth signal or something. And then the G3 is something else and then you got mutes and then you of course you got your volume um, on the side here up and down as well so 7.1 channel the battery and the dongle is obviously right here which i'm about to pull out now so i'll just pull that off from there it's like it's like plastic coating in there so you can see it boom and pulled it 
Boom. That's ready to be plugged in. That will go straight back on. Um, yep. Boom. No. Yes. Yes. Yep. 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 Okay. Yep. Boom. Done. So, um, I'd say I'm going to have to quickly charge these, but um, what I'm going to do is, okay, that feels really tight. That needs to be adjusted big time. Try that, shall we? Gentle service. That's better. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> but nothing better than hearing how they sound. Oh, so we're gonna we're gonna settle this sort of so we're gonna settle this sort of stuff up, give it a crack, and then give you a bit of commentary about it. All right, we'll be back in a second. Right, guys. So I'm back. Um, so as you can tell, I've just done a whole bunch of you know mucking around and setting things up and redecorating and all that sort of jazz. As you can clearly see, I have the C922 uh, set up just nicely. So as you can see on this camera, you can see it here, and you know on, on this camera you can see it you know up there whatever anyway so um you know it, it looks pretty good i mean I'm, I'm quite happy with it i reckon it looks all right you know it looks 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 reasonable so yeah so nice and clear i've got it at 1080 and 30 at the moment so um I'm, I'm quite happy with the way it looks i mean what do you reckon let me know in the comments um but yeah it's got a nice little position it sits nicely on top of my monitor so i'm i'm quite happy with that um but uh yeah uh, so so there's that little little uh little joy of goodness and of course you know i finally have my mouse and my keyboard set up which i'm so relieved on so basically um like you know the mouse just you know feels incredible um so you know it's the mouse feels great the keyboard feels great the keyboard feels so heavy compared to my other one it's like three times heavier i've got both usc plugs usb c sorry usb a plugs plugged into the back um, so I've been playing around with like the lighting and all that sort of stuff, which I'm about to show you. So I've been playing around with all the lighting and all that, all that sort of jazz, and it does sound quite, uh, you know, quite loud and all that sort of stuff. But you know, I've been, you know, typing and all that sort of stuff. You know, I finally have, you know, a nice sounding keyboard. It feels real good, and the mouse feels really good as well. I've mucked about with the DPI settings. It's really cool. Is that this can increase your DPI settings on the fly, which is great. But this can instantly lower your DPI like just for a split second and then bring it back to normal. So I can like really bring it right down if you want to carefully aim, like if you want to like you know carefully you know like like strafe at someone. You know want to really like carefully like strafe at them. You know very carefully slow it down. But um, but uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's a cool little concept. You know I, I like it. It's 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 brilliant. Yeah, it's 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 good. Yeah. So I like it, and of course, um, my headsets. Now, the funny thing about them is that I have set them up. They are good to go. Um, I'm loving the fact that they're completely, you know, Bluetooth and wireless, and my camera's off. There we go. Um, but they don't seem as loud as what I thought they would have been. Um, I've had to turn the volumes all the way up so far, and I've chucked on a song, and it's not super loud. I mean, it's decent enough. The bass sounds good, but I, I'm sure there's something in there, some software. Like, I've been using Razer... Um, uh, Razer Krakens and they come with their own software to muck about with the sound now I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can find some sort of software and do that and increase the volume but I'm sure over time uh, I'll muck about with them but honestly um, in, in my opinion that's something I've got to stop doing every time I put them on I keep pressing buttons that they they sound great and um, and of course they've got their own little uh, microphone that switches on and that's already on already so but yeah that's uh, guys that's pretty much that's pretty much this unboxing it's it's um, it's been fun. It's been really, really cool. It's been real. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. Um, so getting all my nice little goodies. So yes, I am going to leave that there. I'm going to muck about a bit more with, um, you know, with these headphones and uh, you know bits and pieces and get used to my keyboard and that. I might play a game a little while and see how it goes. But uh, it's been real, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Leave a like. Comment down below. Give me some tips on how to get the best out of all these devices if you can. If you own these, um, if you own the keyboard, if you own the mouse, let me know some tips and some secrets. If you own the headphones, let me know some tips and secrets to get them louder, um, so on and so forth, guys. I very much appreciate it, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.